The Uninvited 2009 Movie Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little movie review on a movie called The Uninvited from 2009. Now, between 2000 and 2010, at least for me, and a lot for a lot of other people, horror movies were just a little bit generic. I mean, yeah, you had Saw, but we didn't really break out into better movies like we did in 2011, 12, 13. I was actually blown away by how good this movie was, and it was definitely the best movie that I've seen recently. So basically the story is a family by a lake and the mom is kind of like dying of cancer. Um, there's like one last scene where the daughter goes and sees her and some big thing happens. The daughter ends up getting sent to like a mental asylum. It's about nine months later and her dad is now engaged to this attractive blonde lady. And you kind of get the, the feeling like something's up, something's not just right. I mean, like her mom just died and all of a sudden there's this new girl in there completely taking over. Something just seems a little off. Once she returns back to the house, there's some definite paranormal vibes in there. So that's kind of like the basic synopsis. And and this movie is very, very, very interesting. And although it had a very interesting premise, I was thinking, you know, there's not that many ways it could play out. You know, you're thinking, okay, the mom just died. You know, there's something paranormal's in the house. Who came the mom's there? And you think of, you know, maybe the new mom is like a killer or she, she has a secret past or all this stuff. And it really does not play out at all like you think. And it actually has a, a twist near the end that really shakes things up. And thankfully, I can kind of describe this movie fully without really getting into the twist because it happens at the very end and just completely switches things up. As far as what I liked about this movie, to be honest, it was like a breath of fresh air. It was very unique. I haven't seen a story like this at all personally. And on top of that, it has a pretty good and unique scenery. Their little house that they have, it feels better than something like a cheap horror movie where it's just a quick little... Um, shot or two or if the scenery feels cheap. I actually really enjoyed the whole city that they live in, this whole little lake area. I also liked that it was very, very short. I think that if you, you told your story and it's not the right length, don't put a bunch of filler in there to make it like a certain length that you want. If the movie comes up a little bit short, but it's much better short, then keep it that way. And I 100% like that. And uh, to be honest, if they had done anything else, it would have been a little bit fat and bloated and it was not here. I think it's like about I want to say like an hour and 25 minutes, but it's perfect. It has uh, enough to the story to where it feels complete. I really liked that it was pretty short. I do think it was actually quite scary to be honest. More of the paranormal stuff happens like in the middle of the movie, but when there's like a paranormal scene, the way that they shoot it, it actually is somewhat scary to me. I didn't even know until halfway through the movie that it was a PG-13 movie. It really feels extremely intense, very dark. It feels like the ending doesn't have as much to do with paranormal activity as the middle does. For a movie that is a PG-13 and that mostly revolves around girls, like most of the characters in this in this movie that are important are girls. The only one that's somewhat important that's a male is like the dad and maybe her friend but they just don't really have too much involvement and I was surprised at how entertained I was by this movie how intense the scares were the whole overall package for being a very female dominant movie PG-13 just absolutely was on board and loved this movie if I were to come up with some cons to be honest guys I really don't have too many I actually really really enjoy this movie this is probably going to be one of the best movies that I've seen in a long time I'll probably have to see another 10 20 movies to come across one that I thought was this good. And also, uh, before I go into the cons, I really did enjoy the twist. The twist is what really makes this movie. I'm gonna be getting into my rating a little bit further, but just how good the twist was, I'm gonna bump this movie up a whole half point to a point, just because I felt like the story didn't have anywhere to go and they really flipped it on its head and gave me like a crazy twist. So I really, really appreciate that. And as far as anything that I didn't like, there's very, very, little that I didn't like about this movie. It's almost one of those ones that you actually have to rewatch and you, it doesn't really make sense why that is until you see the end and you kind of have to rewatch it because certain things aren't the way that they seem. Um, but it did seem like the twist kind of happened a little fast and it explained everything really, really quickly. And um, I don't know, it just felt like it was a little bit fast. Like I wish it was a little bit more rushed or it was a little bit more explained. And again, maybe if I rewatch it, it will be a little bit more explained, but it just seemed kind of like the twist really shook things up, but I don't know how, it, how well it connects with the beginning of the movie because it almost seems like, you know, oh, I'm building up all this stuff and then a twist happens and it's like, oh yeah, none of that was real. Pa, 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 I got you, you know, and it's like, I don't know, I wish there was like a better connection between the first story and the twist, although 
I mean, this is kind of like picking at, at straws here. I really, really, really enjoyed this movie. It was very entertaining, especially for a PG-13 movie. And um, yeah, guys, a really high marks. If I was going to give this a rating, I'd probably give it an 8.5 out of 10. And, you know, it's one of those movies that started off, I was liking it. I liked the characters. I liked all the actors, actresses. I liked the scenery. I liked everything. But then once that twist happened, I, I really do like it another half point to a point higher than it was before. So I'd probably give us an 8.5. I really enjoyed it. I, I highly recommend that almost everybody check it out because um, it's not that vulgar or aggressive. It's R-rated, but at the same time, it's very, very serious. If you're somebody who doesn't like um, a lot of cheese or a lot of things held back, this movie does not hold a lot back in my opinion. So I highly recommend check it out. If I was gonna say buy, rent, or pass, I'd almost just say buy on this one because I really, really enjoyed it for what it is it's a completely unique story doesn't really feel too much like any other movie in my opinion i just really really like it the uninvited totally check it out so anyways guys we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace